You're here back in the fantasy bar with your final NBA six pack of the season for the big Wednesday night slate. And we've got six of my favorite plays ready for you, including a couple guys I think are underpriced. A game I want to stack up on with a couple pieces from one side. We are going happy hour as well to end the season. Every single play under 8,500 on both sites. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the fantasy bar. Welcome in, guys. Wednesday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack, the final NBA six pack of the season. MLB right around the corner. First video will be out hopefully tomorrow for the Friday slate. So we'll skip opening day with all the day games. You know everybody's out there working, busy. We've got you covered over at Roto Grinders with a ton of coverage for opening day. First video will cover the Friday night slate. So excited. Wanted to take a second here and say thank you to all of you for all your support. Another successful. NBA six pack season in the books. We had our ups, we had our downs, but hopefully you guys were entertained, made some money along the way. Special shout out to Devin and Steven over at Roto Grinders for all their hard work on these videos. All right, let's get into it. A little housekeeping first. Click that thumbs up button if you enjoy the content here. Subscribe to the channel. Pints and Picks back tonight as well with two of my favorite NBA prop bets I really like. So make sure you're checking that video out as well and head over to rotogrinders.com brand new look for the site brand new logo for the site tons of giveaways going on right now get over to the site and also our free discord for a chance to get in on some of those giveaways all right let's get into it here our first play we are rolling with our boy Danny Avdia of Washington Avdia this is the Swiss Army night the jack of all trades here for this Washington team and another spot I want to attack here tonight against the Brooklyn Nets Avia been a model of consistency here of late 35 or more DraftKings points in five of his last six games. Nice ceiling as well. We know the ceiling can go well into the 50s here. Guy that can put 30 points, double digit rebounds, assists on the board, a triple double threat. No doubt. We mentioned the matchup with the Nets, averaging over 41 DraftKings points per game in this matchup. Take advantage tonight with Denny Avdia. All right, let's go to a guy who thinks underpriced, especially on DraftKings. We're talking Isaiah Hartenstein of the Knicks. So you see Fandle up at 7,500, but DraftKings way down at 5,700 here. And even in the limited minutes that this guy's playing, we're starting to see him round back into form and take advantage on DK while we can. Don't hate him over on Fandle, but DraftKings 5,700 is way too cheap. We're talking 34 or more DraftKings points in five straight games here. Toronto, bottom 10 in the league against the center position. I think things only continue to get better here for Isaiah Hartenstein. Grab that low price while you can. All right, let's go to a team that's very banged up right now. We're talking Portland. We are rolling with Scoot Henderson. Not going to list all the injuries here. You guys know the drill by now. Portland basically in tank time. Youth movement is on here, and Scoot Henderson finally starting to look like the guy taken early in the draft, getting much more aggressive on the offensive side of the ball. 14 or more shots now in five straight games and a great spot here against the Atlanta Hawks. This team loves to play fast, and they don't play much defense. So always a nice combination here for our DFS selections. 27 in defensive efficiency this season. Top 10 in the NBA in pace. I think Scoot continues his role here and it's too cheap on both sides. Under 6,500. Let's go to the other side of that game with some correlation with Bogdan Bogdanovich of the Hawks. So playing some good basketball right now and we have the bonus of DeJounte Murray being listed as questionable here tonight. So like Bogdanovich regardless, if Murray's out, nice little boost here for Bogdanovich over 33 DraftKings points now in five of his last nine games. We know the upside is there to get us into the 40s as well. And last meeting against Portland, didn't shoot the ball very well, just three for 15 in that game, yet still scored 36 DraftKings points. So good matchup here for him. The shooting's there, 40s, not out of the question. And if Murray's out, it's that additional bump. Bogdan Bogdanovich, one of my favorites in the mid-range. All right, let's go back to the other side of that game. Little game stack for you with Delano Banton of Portland. So we mentioned the injuries here with Portland, and Banton's been really taking advantage of this, and I'm not expecting the performance we saw the other night, but it just shows what kind of upside that this guy has and just checks so many boxes for me, playing all the minutes he can handle right now. All of the injuries there with the Blazers are going to keep that role viable. Seeing huge shot volume here as well, and that ceiling like we mentioned, not many guys can get you. 50, 60 DraftKings points at the prices he has listed at. Five games this month already, 39 or more DraftKings points, and that ceiling well into the 50s. Another good spot here for Delano Banton. Again, not expecting what we saw the last time out in a huge game. That upside is there, and I like the matchup here 
with the Atlanta Hawks. All right, it's time. Take a look at my favorite play for Wednesday night. Before we do that, let's continue our Beast of the Night contest. Easy to play. Just click that thumbs up button and head to the comment section and get fantasy points on DraftKings tonight. For my Beast of the Night, whoever's gets is the closest. We're going to give you a free week of Roto Grinders Premium just for hanging out in the fantasy bar. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play for Wednesday night. No mass, the Beast of the Night. All right, Beast time, we promised you everything 8,500 or below, and we will deliver here as well with Pascal Siakam of the Pacers, tonight's Beast of the Night. Now, Siakam really starting to look comfortable here, finally, in this Indiana offense. has really taken over here as the primary scorer for this team. 25 or more points now in three straight games, and over the last couple, really been on fire. 34 points per game on a whopping 49 shots here, and I love this game environment here tonight. Highest total on the board at 234 and a half, close two and a half point spread here as well. I think Pascal Siakam continues to play at a high level here and the price is lagging behind. Pascal Siakam, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's beast of the night. All right guys, that'll do it for our Wednesday night and final NBA six pack for this season, but don't worry, we'll have you covered over at Roto Grinders with some great NBA coverage the rest of the season. We are turning our attention to MLB with our first video coming out tomorrow for Friday's MLB Slate. Check out the Roto Grinders brand new look if you have not already. Check out our all new and free Discord as well for tons of giveaways and information for rotogrinders.com. I am Bear saying salut guys. Thank you so much for watching tonight and all season long. Appreciate each and every one of you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Good luck tonight. And we will see you. Thanks for checking out our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more DraftKings, FanDuel, and other DFS content. And you can check out our daily live show schedule on rotogrinders.com slash videos.